Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. A big hello to all you new subscribers. Thanks for stopping in and joining us. Oh, what we got coming in this video? Well, I wanted to get this Johnson 30 all done up for a friend of mine. I put electric start. I put a charging system. Oh, Oh, pull start, new flywheel that had the teeth for the starter, starter bracket, just the whole deal. Um, I didn't film any of that because if you go back two or three videos, you can see all that. And I laid out the diagrams, how you hook it up and everything. So, but uh, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to look at a little cutie. A little cutie that got abused, went down to Davy Jones. <laughs> I think I'm going to look at that one because it's a seven and one half cutie. And the power heads roached on it. The guy sent it down, submerged it then threw it on a barge from a remote location which took days to get here if not weeks and no hope for it it's just solid rust and yuck but i've got another power head but it's off i think a six but i think they're the same i'll have to look um it's an older one and so i think i'll probably get on that because i don't think it'll take long if everything's the same so I'll quit jabber. Let's get to it. This is a, I think, 30 Johnson, and it's a good runner. Um, I went through it four or five videos ago, but I want to give it to a friend who's in need of one. And, uh, but he's a geezer like me. So, I thought it would be nice if I put some electric start and a charging system on this thing for him. So that is what I'm going to do. And when I popped that flywheel, I didn't even notice it until it did. But this has got the under flywheel ignition. Which I guess wouldn't make a difference. I'm going to have to think about it, but everything looks in order. So I don't see why I just couldn't put a lightering coil, charging coil right there. But then I still got to unbolt all this and everything to run the wires up under there and such and such and such and such. So I don't know which way would be easier to go. Because I'm using used parts here. These UDI setups have the uh, trigger kind of built in and all that. Whereas the external CDI has this set up. So I'm thinking it'll probably be easier just to take this off, this one, put this one on, and I've got the place to mount a CDI. So it's already bossed. So I think I'll go that route. Since i got to take it off anyway, at least by going this route, I won't have to run the wires. 
You understand? Okay, I uh, I took this under the flywheel CDI and mag plate off. And I put on the external CDI because it's going to make it easier for me to hook up this rectifier and starter and all that just because the wiring is already on this one. Um, oh, everything's still kind of a mess here, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Alright, so like I said, I put the external CDI on it and I hooked the wires up and everything. Here will be my rectifier, but if you watch those two top ones, I got a glove so we don't ground out. Let's see what we get. All right, all right. We got good hot Spocky on two. You see this one, excuse me, it didn't have the charge coil or nothing on it. So it was just easier for me to, this mag plate that I went out and got out the bone pile had all this stuff hooked up to it. Rectifier and all that stuff. So everything's kind of hooked. I still got to tuck everything in good. And Get everything zippy tied, organized. I ain't got the kill wire hooked up yet, but that's no biggie. And we got some more. This one, this harness had an electric foot valve primer. We won't need that wire. I need to clean all this up. It's all rusty in here. So, a lot of stuff to do. A lot of Okay, to test the solenoid, I've got my positive from my power pack from the battery coming to the big post. I also have another positive, even though it's black colored wire, it's going to the positive post or want the, the closest small post to the big post. Then I've got my negative going to the negative on the battery and then you just touch the other small post and you'll hear the solenoid fire. So this is a good working solenoid. That's how you test a solenoid.
ました。Chatterbrains. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's hungry. Been raining for a couple days. He ain't had no free handouts. here's the little cutie that's been seriously abused saltwater series some racing stripes and skull and crossbones um, we're gonna pop Pop the old head like a pimple and uh, see what we got in there. But she's quite seized up. Um, And by the time I got it, it was too late. Yeah, ooh, look at the water running out. <laughs> And there's spark plugs in there, as you can see. See the water? Oh yeah. Yep, that one's gone. I'll show you. I show you. We'll get that out. So sad. So sad. Oh, I got that thing. I got that, what you call it, safety interlock. We've got the old safety interlock. That way we must unlock. And you want to save that because that's one of them OMC special nuts, bolts. Pardon. Oh man. Yeah, she's toasty, roasty, toasty. When they said it was a saltwater series, they weren't kidding. Okay. I show you, I show you. Heck, you can almost see it from where it's at. 
Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's a pretty bad. Got some yummy in the cylinder. I wouldn't even reuse that head gasket. In a pinch, maybe. But this one's already been pinched. So, let me sort some things out, take a look at this other power head, and see if it ain't about the same. I'll be back. Well, I think this one's ready to come off. I uh, popped the head off of it. And I think I unhooked most of everything. Now we just gotta get it. There it goes. There it goes. There it comes. Hmm. Hmm. That needs a good washing. Needs a good washing all the way around. Everything on the leg is pretty good. Boy, wait a minute now. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Interesting. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Huh. Can you see it? In the exhaust, inner exhaust tube. That ain't supposed to be there. It's got some religion. It's holy there. It's quite holy. Yeah, a big old hole eating out of there. I've seen this before on a uh, Yamaha. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I've seen that before on the Yamaha where it just, the salt and stuff just eats that away. But, ugh, see that big old hole there? It just got eaten completely away. So, this motor has been rebuilt at some point. Paint. You can see the RTV blue which I don't use and it's on the intake side which I don't ever do according to the manual what else we're going to find the starter rope is completely frayed frayed where they pulled and they pulled and they pulled before it went under of course so she probably wasn't running that well. Um, prior to going under. But I'm going to see if I can save the carburetor. It's iffy because when I cut the fuel hose so I could pop the head. Or to pop the power head. Brown rusty salt water ran out of there. It sure did. Yeah, go ahead and take this fuel pump off of here. It can be saved, possibly. 
my other screwdriver go? I had a better screwdriver than this. Yeah. She's been abused at the highest levels of outboard abuse. At the highest level. of outboard debuse. Possibly could save that. Um, well, let me get a wrench. Well, I got the garbage radar off there. I'm going to go hit it with my wire wheel, knock some of this rust off, and we'll pop it open and see what we got. I'll be right back. Alrighty. So I knocked enough of the rust off there where I can at least see the screws. And, and we'll see what this thing looks like inside come on screw get out of there there we go all right let's see what we get a little bit of rusty crusty in there i think we're gonna be able to save it though not a problem just a little bit of rust and boogers and yuck but that one should clean up nice, I do spec. Heck, it ain't even rusted the uh, E-clip off of it yet. So we're in good shape. We're in good shape. So, we saved one. Get... Yeah, and the low speed's coming right out. There we go. It looks nice. So, I don't have punch you need some kind of punch to get that hinge pinge pinge de binge and it is made of plastic I do believe yeah so it coming right out of there and there's my needle and my float So, yeah. and the orifices are coming out, nice, and the seat came out. So, oh, just a little bit of rust and boogers in there. We'll get that right first in some, some old gas and just, I'll wipe it off, get it in some old gas, and I'll be back. But I wanted to examine more of this exhaust. Just amazing what 
salt can do in it. Yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah, and if you look at that old grommet, it's about to fold over on itself where the water pickup tube comes in. You can see that. Wow. See, I like these little brushes like this, and getting those little cracks and stuff all around the back of the motor and tight spots. looks a lot better. A clean outboard is a happy outboard. Well now, I got this one uh, for my friend all done, squared away. He should be good to go. Um, it's got all the bells, one whistles, all the whistles and all the bells. Yeah, it, uh, hopefully it'll be a good one for him. Um, now he has a critical decision to make, you understand. Does he want a 25? Or does he want a 30? Critical decision he's going to have to make to find out what would work best on his boat, a 25 or a 30. I think the carburetor is off 30. Going by memory, but I think that's what it is. But he can choose whatever bonnet he wants to throw on there. And uh, so I think that's all I'm going to do in this one because I got to make some decisions too on how I'm gonna go and finish things up on this little cutie um, or what my next victim, my next victim is gonna be. So I gotta make that decision, but the weather's kinda trying to break a little bit, so I think I'm gonna get out and enjoy a little bit of it. As always, that is one more from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.